from Chile, Barbara Achondo. The 19th strongest in qualification. 40 year old from Valparaiso. Barbara Achondo of Chile steps forward. What a thrill it is to see her here. Carla Navas of Panama, the 18th strongest in qualification, the 19 year old Panamanian national champion. Elias Perea of Ecuador, the 18 year old all around silver medalist at the Bolivarian Games in 2022. From Chile, Macarena Pinto, 35 from Providencia. And from El Salvador, Alexa Grande, the 28 year old silver medalist on balance beam at the Bolivarian Games. Hilary Heron of Panama, the 19 year old who was sensational at the World Championships in Belgium earlier this month. This is the group that will begin on the balance beam, the third strongest group of qualifiers. The fourth strongest group of qualifiers and the gymnasts who will begin on floor exercise. Representing Barbados, 18-year-old Anya Pilgrim, a student at the University of Florida. Puerto Rico, Alejandra Sofia Alvarez Diaz. Alejandra Alvarez Diaz of Puerto Rico, the 26th strongest qualifier, just 16 years old. Stella Diaz Muniz of Puerto Rico, the 24th strongest qualifier, a 21-year-old. Ashley Bohorquez of Ecuador, the 31st strongest qualifier. Venezuela, Deborah Salmina. And Deborah Salmina of Venezuela, the 30th strongest Costa in qualification. Rica. Costa Rica, Francini Morales. Francini Morales of Costa Rica, the 22 year old from San Jose. These are the gymnasts that will begin on the floor exercise. Moving on to the second strongest group of qualifiers who will head over to the uneven bars first. Colombia. Colombia, Luisa Blanco. Representing Colombia, a dream come true, she says, Mexico. Luisa Blanco, the 10th strongest Mexico. in qualification. Natalia Escalera of Mexico, ninth strongest in qualification. A huge ovation for Judge Barbosa of Brazil, the Pan American champion on vault in 2007. The history maker from Haiti, 25 year old Lindsey Brown. Milagros Corti Ruiz, the 17 year old from Argentina, 13th best in qualification. And 16 year old Nicole Iribarne, the 12th strongest in the qualifying round. Grips on, they move over to the uneven bars as the top group of qualifiers enters the arena. They're a very familiar face in international competition. Brazil. Brazil. Flavia Representing Brazil, Flavia Saraiva. They know her here and they love her. The United States of America is 19 year old Kayla DiCello, so young and yet so experienced, part of the United team that States won gold America. yesterday. Jordan One of the flag bearers for the US team during the opening ceremony, the Olympic silver Mexico. medalist Jordan Childs, the Mexico. top qualifier for the USA. 
Atziri Sandoval of Mexico, the seventh strongest qualifier, 27-year-old from Guadalajara. Ava Stewart. Ava Stewart, the Olympian from Canada, sixth strongest in qualification. And the Canadian national champion, Aurelie Tran of Canada, the fifth strongest gymnast in yesterday's team final and all around qualification. These are the gymnasts that will begin on vault. In this first rotation, we will be focusing on the leaders on vault while popping in here and there to see the progress on uneven bars. And as ever before the competition begins, gymnasts will be allotted three minutes of warm-up time just to acclimatize themselves to being in the arena and to get a feel for the apparatus before they compete. The lineup in rotation one, once again, Flavia Saraiva of Brazil will be at the top of the order, followed by Kayla DiCello and Jordan Childs. Atziri Sandoval, Eva Stewart, and Aurelie Tran make up the final three who will compete. Most often in warm-ups on vault, gymnasts do not do the vault that they will perform in competition. They rather do something simpler, known as a timer that allows them perhaps to visualize what they will do while still going through the motions of vaulting. Jordan Childs, the world silver medalist on this apparatus in 2022. Meanwhile, over on the uneven bars, it will be Luisa Blanco of Colombia who will lead things off. Natalia Escalera of Mexico to follow. And then Judge Barbosa, Lindsey Brown, Milagros Corti Ruiz, and Nicole Iribarn of Argentina. One of two Argentinian hopefuls, not just for the podium, but potentially for an Olympic qualification berth here. Judge Barbosa is back at the competition that made her a superstar. And here is a look at Lindsey Brown. What an incredible story of dedication and perseverance, not just in gymnastics, but in life that has brought her here to the Pan American Games. Lindsey Brown has accepted a job as an assistant coach at the Penn State University, where she will be working with the women's gymnastics team. And she is accompanied here in Santiago by her boss, former elite international Sarah Shire of the United States herself, a standout at the University of Missouri. Going through her warm up now, Milagros Curti Ruiz. Milagros Corti Ruiz, a gymnast who will be 18 next month. She made her world championship debut earlier this month in Belgium. Warming up now. Argentina's Nicole Iribarn, the 12th strongest in qualification. And here is Canada's Ava Stewart.
also from Canada, Aurelie Tran. This is going to be an interesting and intense all-around final for many reasons, and not least of them. All of these gymnasts are on their second straight day of having to do four apparatus. The team final was just last night, so there's a real quick turnaround time, and they've not had a lot of time to rest and recuperate. Where does that lead us? Well, let us find out. We will begin with Brazil and Flavia Saraiva. A very good double twisting Yurchenko. And Saraiva's competition is underway. She's done this vault for many years now. And yet somehow in 2023, watching her do it, she makes it look better than ever. Gets tremendous push off of the table. Good height, a tidy twist, and just two small steps backward on landing. The height and distance on that were very good considering she actually put her hands rather far back on the table coming off of the springboard. And now representing Colombia, here is Luisa Blanco on the uneven bars. Colleen Maloney to the high bar, right into Pac Salto. Lovely form she's got. The Van Leeuwen transition, very popular. Her grip change, a requirement on uneven bars, swinging forwards. And a very steady full twisting double tuck dismount that she hangs on to for the stick. That's a very good opening exercise for Luisa Blanco. The 21 year old born in Los Angeles and this year's Colombian national champion. And what can we expect from Kayla DiCello? Traditionally, she is a very strong all-arounder. She proved that in 2021 at the World Championships where she took the bronze medal. 13.966 the score for Flavia Saraiva. She sets the standard on vault. And now from the United States, Kayla DiCello. This will be the same vault that we saw from Saraiva. Yurchenko with a double twist. Oh, and it's so steady. Great in the air, just a hop back on landing. Kayla DiCello has completed her freshman year at the University of Florida, where she was one of the stars of their gymnastics team, but after some reflection has decided to take a gap year from the university in order to really focus on making the U.S. Olympic team next year. She has returned to training in Maryland with her coach, Kelly Hill. She was very close to making the U.S. team for the World Championship. She actually traveled to Belgium as an alternate and partook in all of the workouts and all of the celebrations and excitement around the team that won the gold medal. Another look at the Yurchenko double twist. Very efficient. 14.133, the score for Kayla DiCello on vault. And here from the United States, the leader after qualification, Jordan Childs. 
It's such a beautiful vault, isn't it? Power combined with grace. Excellent mechanics. Lovely in the air. Quick off of the table. The twist is efficient. The landing just has a hop. And 14.3 is the score for Jordan Childs. Here is Atziri Sandoval, the seventh strongest qualifier. The 27-year-old from Mexico. She missed the Pan American Games four years ago due to a ligament injury in one of her toes that required surgery. But so far, she has been excellent here. It's a different style vault from what we've seen so far. Sukahara with a double twist, and she finds a nice landing. Not only is it different from what we've seen on vault from the other members of the leaders group, it's more difficult. The double twisting Yurchenko is valued out of 5.0. The Sukahara with double twist, 5.2. Good entry that translates into very good block, which means good height off of the table. Not a whole lot of distance, but a very secure landing for Sandoval. Sandoval scores at 13.9. From Canada, 18-year-old Ava Stewart, the Tokyo 2020 Olympian, takes to the vault. Very solid Yurchenko with one and a half twists. It is four tenths of a point less difficult than the double twisting Yurchenko. So we may see a score that is slightly lower than some of the other vaulters in this rotation. Good entry onto the table. She is ever so slightly off to the left and that pulls her body in that direction, which means she's quite close to those white tram lines are the demarcations for going out of bounds, so to speak. On vault, put one foot over, you lose a tenth of a point in penalty. Put both feet over, you lose three tenths. I know. The score for Ava Stewart on vault 13.333. Here is the other Canadian in this final. Just 17 years old, Orly Tran the national all-around champion. And this is a simpler vault than any we have seen thus far. The difficulty tariff is 4.2. The Yurchenko with a full twist.
Let's have another look. Once again, she's quite far back on the springboard where her feet hit, but it doesn't really affect the outcome of the vault. She is a bit over to the right, but maintains good alignment. And it's a calm vault, well delivered. Over to Natalia Escalera of Mexico on uneven bars. The ninth strongest qualifier. She opens with a Van Leeuwen transition. Pike Jaeger. And then a Kachev to Pak Salto combination. And Maloney to Ginger. Those combinations important because they earn her extra difficulty. Now she's out of handstand as she finishes that pirouette. She does swing well into her full twisting double tuck, however. Escalera 12.6 on uneven bars. That is an improvement from what she did in qualification by more than three tenths of a point. 13.133 for Aurelie Tran, meanwhile, on vault. 13.2 was her score in qualification, so she has been very consistent. And now to Judge Barbosa, the 32-year-old from Rio de Janeiro, who won her first and only Pan American Games gold medal in 2007. Stalder Shaposhnikova into an Ezeva. So far, she's swinging well. Uprise to her Kachev. She doesn't do it from a handstand, but rather from a transition. Dismount, double layout. Good routine for Judge Barbosa to begin with. She scored only 10.933 on an even bars in the qualification. This is going to be better, and it is 13.1. A more than two point improvement for Barbosa. And now from Haiti, Lindsey Brown. Begins with a toe stalder with full pirouette. Here comes her sequence. Maloney to Pac Salto. And the Van Leven. she's very calm on an even bar, she doesn't rush herself. Dismount should be a double layout. Just a double tuck today. She's playing it slightly safe, but she gets a fantastic landing. 11.0 the score for Lindsey Brown. And from Argentina, this is Milagros Curti Ruiz. She was very impressive in qualification. Really, one of the revelations. And she has a bright future ahead of her if she can keep up work like this. Good high Jaeger, well over the bar. Stalder work, a clean full pirouette. And a double pike dismount. Welcome to the Pan American Games, Milagros Curti Ruiz, the 13th strongest in qualification. Let's see if she can improve upon that in this final. She is off to an excellent start. The score for Milagros Curti Ruiz on uneven bars is 11.933. So she is up seven tenths compared to what she did in qualification. That could be significant.
And here is Nicole Iribarn of Argentina. She made her world championship debut earlier this month. The Argentinians were 24th in Antwerp and her best result came on this apparatus. Very nice Pike Jaeger to begin. There's a Pac Salto, good flight between the bars. Clear hip circle to clear hip half to a toe shoot to the high bar. And a very clean double tuck dismount. It's a pretty exercise on the uneven bars for Nicole Iribarn. The Argentinians as a group are really known for their excellent form. Look at her straight handstand, how locked out her arms are, how tight her body is, and is, that translates over to elements like the pack salto. She has lovely toe point. She keeps her legs perfectly straight, locked together. And on the dismount, we see a fair amount of double tucks, but very often the gymnasts do not keep their knees together in such a beautiful diver-like position. Such good technique. Twelve point oh was the score for Nicole Iribarn in qualification. And just to do some housekeeping, on vault, Kayla DiCello received 14.133 for her double twisting Yurchenko. Jordan Childs earned 14.3. That is the top score on vault so far. And the number four, Nicole Iribarn of Argentina, 11.9. Very similar to what she posted in qualification. Here is a look at the standings after rotation one of four. And familiar names at the top of the leaderboard. Jordan Childs, 14.3 on vault. Kayla DiCello, 14.133. And Flavia Saraiva, 13.966. The extra difficulty paying off for Atziri Sandoval of Mexico. She sits fourth, less than a tenth of a point behind Saraiva. And so one rotation done, and the all-around standings mirror the qualification results. But there are still three routines to be performed by every gymnast, and that means a lot has the potential to change. The United States gold medalists yesterday, they look relaxed and happy. Activity has seized on the field of play, and gymnasts will be marching over to their second apparatus in just a moment.
And so the leaders group moves over to the uneven bars. And among them, the top three, including Flavia Saraiva. The warm-up period has begun on uneven bars. And after this touch, Kayla DiCello will begin the competition in rotation two, followed by Jordan Childs and Atziri Sandoval. Kayla DiCello making her return after a year competing for the University of Florida. The results so far have been very promising. And for Jordan Childs, it has been a very good Pan American Games debut. Childs spent the winter competing for UCLA, of course, and commenced full elite training in the summer. Meanwhile, over on floor exercise, Carla Navas of Panama will be the first to compete. And the sixth competitor to perform, Barbara Achondo, the spectacular 40-year-old from Chile. Achondo, an athlete who studied dance at the University of Chile here in Santiago. She choreographed her floor routine herself. And Achondo really is a fascinating story. A gymnast who took a break of more than a decade before coming back and winning the Chilean national title the same year that she decided to make her comeback. There is Hilary Heron, the Panamanian gymnast who secured her Olympic ticket to Paris at the World Championships earlier this month. Spectacular performer on the floor exercise, Heron. Moving through her warm-up on uneven bars is Aurélie Tran. And here from Panama on the floor exercise, Carla Navas.
19-year-old Carla Navas of Panama. A gymnast who won three silver medals at the Central American and Caribbean Games this year. And now to the uneven bars and Kayla DiCello of the United States. This is a routine that has plenty of difficulty in it. Stalder Shaposhnikova in combination, and then a clear hip to a church, toe on Pike Kachev, immediately to a piked Jaeger. Very nice. And a full twisting double tuck dismount. Once again, a gymnast you can count on for secure landings. Time and again, she has shown her consistency. And this routine, no exception. She does finish the toe stalder, her opening element rather out of handstand. She will have an execution deduction for that. Depends on how far, how many degrees out of handstand the judges deem it. Would be a loss perhaps in the neighborhood of three tenths of a point. This was the ending and it was spectacular. Full twisting double tuck over the bar. Carla Navis receives 11.466 on floor exercise. The score of Kayla DiCello still to come in. Jordan Childs, a consummate performer, no matter what the apparatus. Childs not selected for the world team this year due to her taking a bit more time to prepare. People making the decisions thought this competition might be better suited to her timeline. Toast Alder full. And then lovely flight on her Pike Kachev to immediate pack salto. Maloney transition. And she's taken an intermediate swing. That will be a significant deduction, though it will not cost her as much as a fall. Pike Jaeger. And a full twisting double tuck dismount. Jordan Childs of the United States on the uneven bars. It's going to be interesting to see what the judges do with that routine. There was the intermediate swing. Kayla DiCello, meanwhile, 13.633 is the score that she receives. Let's have another look at Childs on uneven bars. Normally, she combines her toe stalder with the Pike Kachev. And her arms are very bent as she catches the ginger, though she does swing quite smoothly out of it. The judges will see that, however, and apply the appropriate deduction. And the dismount way up above the bar. It wasn't a perfect exercise, but she got it done. And Jordan Childs is so seasoned that she realizes that kind of thing. She herself has said not everything is going to be perfect. Once again, 11.466 for Jordan Childs.
for Carla Navas on floor. Waiting for the green light, Atziri Sandoval of Mexico. And it was on this apparatus that she has earned her qualification to the Paris Olympic Games as an individual. Mexico did not qualify a team to Paris, but she is bound for France next summer. Jordan Childs, the score 12.7 is down significantly from the 14.1 that she earned in qualification. And now from Mexico, Atziri Sandoval, the seventh strongest qualifier. She began quite well on vault. What can she do on this apparatus? Shaposhnikova to the high bar combined with a pack salto. The Maloney transition to Bale. Toast Alder full to wonderful Ginger. Great height. And a full twisting double tuck stuck. That is quite the routine from Atziri Sandoval of Mexico. She has had very impressive performances on the continental and at World Cup level. She has a gold medal from a World Challenge Cup on this apparatus from Guimarães in Portugal in 2018. And she won bronze on the uneven bars this year at the Central American and Caribbean Games. So she is very accomplished on this apparatus. It's a very good ginger. One of the most flighted amongst the international set. Thirteen point three 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 was her score on uneven bars in qualification. Standing at ready now. A gymnast with one of the most intriguing uneven bars routines in this competition. The score for Atziri Sandoval, 12.933. That is down slightly from what she did yesterday. For Canada, Ava Stewart on the uneven bars. She's known for the quality of her stalder work, but also for the dismount of her routine. It is named for her, and we'll see if she decides to throw it today. She did fall on it in the qualification. Coming up now, double front pike, and today it's excellent. Well, 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 Ava Stewart. 
That was fantastic. Capped it off by sticking the dismount that she fell on yesterday. What improvement. Just lovely to watch. She begins with a stalder with a full turn and moves into the Maloney transition from low to high. Toe on Shaposhnikova. She swings very well throughout, but it is this dismount that is the piece de la résistance. She's the only one presently doing it in the world. And she was the first to do it, hence it being named for her. This stands to be a much better score than the 12.4 that she earned in qualification. And it is by more than a point, 13.433 for Ava Stewart on uneven bars. Or Litran of Canada. And her performance on the uneven bars. She has a very fluid swing. Double layout and a stuck dismount for Orly Tran. The young Canadian, just 17 years old, from Répédigny, Quebec. And a gymnast who is coming off of her world championship debut in Antwerp. She was a fantastic junior level gymnast. She won national titles and junior Pan American Games medals. And she has now been brought into the senior international fold. She's a very promising young gymnast, still coming into her own. But skills like this one show her potential. Preparing to go on the uneven bars, Flavia Saraiva of Brazil. And what an autumn she is having. She injured herself at the World Championships in 2022 and actually ended up having foot surgery at the end of the year. She said it's been difficult to get all the way back, but that is exactly where she has found herself. 11.766 for Orly Tran of Canada on bars. to Flavia Saraiva of Brazil.
Toast Alderful to immediate Pike Kachev straight to the Pak Salto. Lovely three element combination and important for her difficulty. Maloney to Ginger keeps her legs glued together. Well done. Front giant into an excellent double front dismount. Flavia Sareva is on. The rest of the field take note. This is a gymnast who knows how to win medals at the Pan American Games. Twenty-three years old and looks quite near the top of her game. This routine is about everything you could ask for on uneven bars. There's flight, amplitude, good release moves, and a beautiful dismount, double front. How nice to see it in super slow motion so that you can appreciate the mechanics of this skill. It's a blind landing. She finds the ground perfectly. Alayas Perea of Ecuador now on the floor exercise. Alayas Perea of Ecuador, the 17th strongest qualifier to this competition. 11.633, her score on floor exercise, up a tenth from qualification. Flavia Saraiva, meanwhile, receives 13.533 on uneven bars. And now to 35-year-old Macarena Pinto of Chile. Chile's Macarena Pinto to the music from Los Jaivas, the Chilean music group that perform folk rock psychedelic music, one of the most influential Chilean music groups of all time. 
from Macarena Pinto to Alexa Grande of El Salvador. Strong tumbling from Alexa Grande, the 28-year-old from El Salvador. 11.966 her score. Alexa Grande does not seem to be troubled by endurance problems on floor exercise. Perhaps what you'd expect from the daughter of a marathon runner. And now Barbara Achondo of Chile. Just exquisite, Barbara Achondo of Chile, 12.333. And the crowd was with her with every movement. What expression and artistry. The standings halfway through the women's all around final at the Pan American Games. Kayla DiCello has moved into the lead after a great performance on the uneven bars. Flavia Saraiva is chasing her. Less than four tenths of a point behind Jordan Childs after some problems on the uneven bars has fallen to third place, but she is still well in contention. And here is a look down the order. The top five now move to balance beam. Can tell you also that Judge Barbosa of Brazil received 12.9 on the balance beam. She is now in sixth position with her two best events still to come in floor exercise and vault. The apparatus, of course, where 
She won the Pan American Games title in 2007. Jordan Childs will start things off on balance beam, followed by Atziri Sandoval, then Ava Stewart and Aurelie Tran, and the leader, Kayla DiCello, will be the last to perform. Over on the vault, Elias Perea of Ecuador will go first, followed by Macarena Pinto. Hilary Heron of Panama, who vaults one of the most difficult vaults of the competition. It's also in this rotation. Questions to be answered by Jordan Childs on the balance beam. From the United States, Jordan Childs mounts the balance beam. She's going for it. Back handspring, layout, step out, layout, step out. The more complicated sequence than we saw in the qualification. And she's through her mixed series of acrobatics and a jump. Good side saw me too. Side aerial, smooth and beautiful. And a switch side leap. So far, it's been excellent. There is just the dismount, a double pike. Well, Jordan Childs has answered those questions. Excellent work on balance beam from the experienced American. The 22-year-old, born in Oregon, trained in Washington State for the first part of her elite career and then moved to Texas in the year before the Olympic Games to train at World Championship Center and she emerged from that year of training, a revitalized, just phenomenal gymnast and performer and somebody who rises to the occasion. That's what we have seen tonight. Waiting to go on the balance beam is Atziri Sandoval of Mexico. And it can be a long wait up on the podium for the green flag. Just ask Jordan Childs, she had quite a wait yesterday. The score for Jordan Childs, 13.466. That is a gain of four tenths over what she did in qualification. And now at Ziri Sandoval of Mexico.
Sandoval so far is in the thick of things in this all around final. Oh, but she's off on the side aerial to back tuck. It's such a risky combination. Her routine in the qualification was marked by wobbles and until her flight series, she looked much steadier. Dismount, front layout with one and a half twists, the Rudy. Of course, you can't ignore the fall, but the rest of it showed better execution than what she did yesterday. She opts to do a very simple mount, just jumping up onto the beam. Here's where it went wrong. Looked like she got a bit rattled as her feet came down on the back tuck. And her shoulders are not quite parallel with the beam in the second element. Dismount punches into a front layout with one and a half twists. And now Elias Perea. A very clean full twisting Yurchenko vault for the Ecuadorian. 12.866, the score for that. And Atziri Sandoval earns 11.2 on balance beam. Several tenths lower than what she showed in qualification. That due to the fall. From Canada now, Ava Stewart on the balance beam. Begins with a candle mount, back dive to chest stand. She was the top qualifier to the apparatus final on balance beam. And we'll see why in just a moment. Her flight series back handspring to tucked full twist. Oh, and once again, it's wonderful. It's a move that is so hard to execute because you have to be so precise. She takes an enormous amount of risk in this routine. In addition to her acrobatic series with the full twist, she shows a ring jump where the head has to go all the way back in order for it to receive difficulty credit. So she loses sight of the beam here as well. The switch ring leap. And her dismount, she tumbles into it. Two back handsprings to a double pike. Fantastic stuff from Ava Stewart, who is giving a very composed performance in this women's all around final. Starts right from the mount. And here is the back handspring to back tuck with a full twist. Notice the way the head goes back. And here, the turn in the sit or Cossack position makes it so much more difficult. And the dismount, very nice as well. Two back handsprings into a double pike. She is in for a very good score. And now Macarena Pinto on vault should be a Sukahara full today. 
We will see her again in the apparatus final on vault. 12.566. From one Canadian to another on balance beam. Canada's Orly Tran gets set for her balance beam performance. Switch leap mount. Stylistically, it's very different from what we just saw from Ava Stewart. Sequence front aerial split jump straddle jump. Just a slight balance check. Lovely position, modified scale in her choreography. A requirement for gymnasts is they need to work at different levels on the balance beam. She fulfills that here. And this will be her acrobatic series. Back handspring layout step out rather late in the routine. Switch leap. Changing legs in the air to a switch leap with a half twist. And her dismount, very simple, full twist. Orly Tran of Canada dismounting the balance beam. Here's another look at the switch leap mount. Once again, changing legs in the air. The full turn is a requirement on balance beam. And this is the sequence that came up right after the mount. A front aerial into jumps. the side view. The hips have to be totally turned before her feet hit the beam. And just a full twist dismount, perhaps a nod to the fact that she tore her Achilles tendon last year and is still coming back from that. Ava Stewart, 13.266 on balance beam. It's a very healthy score from the 18-year-old from Canada. Next up on the balance beam will be Flavia Saraiva of Brazil, a gymnast who was in the Olympic final on this apparatus in 2016. Round off back handspring mount, combines it with a split jump and a Corbett. The back handspring swing down, named after Olga Corbett.
Back handspring layout, step out. And one of the very best switch ring leaps in the world. She hits and holds a position in the air that is second to none. Once again, the ring jump combined into the back handspring. There's great flow to this exercise. Her hands are very expressive. The elements completely secure. Dismount, round off, double pike. Flavia Saraeva has delivered again. Bronze in 2015, bronze in 2019. What will it be today? She moves on now to floor exercise, the apparatus where she is, guess what? The reigning bronze medalist at the World Championships. From start to finish, this was great. So look at her front aerial, the ring jump. You see the head go back, and then the back handspring. Dismount, double pike. Shows a defined pike position. And just a couple tiny steps on the landing. It's a routine to cheer for. Aurelie Tran, 12.666 on balance beam. And we return to Alexa Grande of El Salvador on vault. A tidy Yurchenko full. 12.533, her score for that. Here on vault now for Panama, Hillary Heron. Showing the second of her vaults that she usually performs. A Yurchenko with one and a half twists. Well done. 13.066 for Hillary Heron. Flavia Saraiva, meanwhile, receives 13.866 on the balance beam. That is more than four tenths higher than she posted in the qualification. She's having a wonderful day, and she is set to go to a wonderful apparatus for her in the fourth and final rotation. The leader through two rotations. Now on the balance beam for the United States of America, here is Kayla DiCello. Very good triple turn in that sit position. And this should be a back handspring, followed by two layout step outs. Well delivered.
Just the dismount remains. Double pike. And there are a few steps back, but overall, that is a net positive for Kayla DiCello. She's not going to lose too much in terms of execution for the steps on the landing. There were one or two very tiny wobbles, but her difficulty compensates for that. And it begins with the candle mount. This was just lovely. So calm, serene even. The acrobatic series, terrific. It's one of her calling cards, that. A wobble like that might lose her a tenth of a point, but no more. And finally, the dismount, double pike, good and high. Doesn't quite absorb the landing the way that she might have, resulting in those two steps back. Vaulting now for Chile, Barbara Achondo. Sukahara done in the tuck position. Eleven point four for the mother of two from Chile. Here is a look at Carla Navas of Panama on what she did on vault. One and a half twisting Yurchenko. Twelve point nine three three for Carla Navas. Thus ends the third rotation. And atop the leaderboard, Flavia Saraiva of Brazil. Chasing her, Kayla DiCello of the USA, followed by Jordan Childs, Ava Stewart, and Jaj Barbosa. Believe it or not, a Brazilian woman has never won the Pan American Games all around title. And in with a chance, a good chance, with three rotations done is Flavia Saraiva of Brazil. Twice she has won bronze. up rotation four and on floor exercise that is where the top qualifiers will be. Atziri Sandoval of Mexico will begin and the United States' Kayla DiCello and Jordan Childs will end on this apparatus. Meanwhile, on the vault, Lindsey Brown of Haiti is at the top of the order, followed by the Argentinians Luisa Blanco of Colombia, Natalia Escalera of Mexico, and Jaj Barbosa of Brazil. 
Barbosa has moved into fifth position. And vault, of course, is her signature event. There is Natalia Escalera of Mexico preparing to do her warm-up vault. Presently, Flavia Saraiva's lead over Kayla DiCello is just under four tenths of a point. Her lead over Jordan Childs, however, is more than half a point. But on floor exercise, just as on uneven bars or balance beam or vault, the leaderboard can change in the blink of an eye. Nothing is guaranteed, but there are strong indications that we may see something historic here tonight. There has been a change in the score to Flavia Saraiva on balance beam, but we will come back to that in a moment. Right now, let's have a look at Atziri Sandoval of Mexico on floor exercise. Atziri Sandoval of Mexico finishing her day on the floor exercise. What a remarkable series of competitions this has been for her first the world championships and now the all around final at the Pan American Games. Very clean tumbling, a good secure double pike. Love and kisses from Mexico as Atziri Sandoval finishes her day. 11.933, her score on the floor exercise. And it has been announced in the arena that following an inquiry, Flavia Saraiva's D score on balance beam has been increased to 5.8. That would give her a score of 14.166. We will try to get confirmation of that as Ava Stewart of Canada begins on floor exercise.
Ava Stewart of Canada finishing on floor exercise. One of only three gymnasts born in 2005 to compete at the Olympic Games in Tokyo two years ago. Well done indeed. She's been to the Olympic Games, she's been to the World Championships, and now Ava Stewart makes her Pan American Games debut. And what a lovely performance this was on floor. Not many gymnasts begin their international careers at the Olympic Games, but it has given her a maturity and a perspective that is really beyond her 18 years. Score for Ava Stewart on floor exercise, 12.466. For the moment, her all around total is the score to beat. And quickly to Orly Tran of Canada on floor. Orly Tran of Canada. The Canadians are renowned across the world for their expression and choreography on floor exercise. She draws you into this routine. Magnificent, the coach says. Steady tumbling, the front layout with full twist. Aurelie Tran says that this year she has been working on self-confidence and it's a very confident landing to her double pike. And now vaulting for Haiti, Lindsey Brown. Should be a Yurchenko one and a half twist. Wonderful work from Lindsey Brown. And now to the leader and the woman who is poised to make Pan American Games history, Flavia Saraiva of Brazil.
She has given us so many wonderful floor exercises through the years. In nearly a decade on the Brazilian national team, Flavia Saraiva has shown what a competitor she is time and time again. And tonight, she may well have her moment. No Brazilian woman has ever done better than bronze in a Pan American Games all-around final. She has had bronze twice. She may well be headed for another podium. Her second tumbling pass a rather simple double tuck. She flies backwards, and it does look like she goes out of bounds. So she will have a penalty of at least one-tenth of a point, maybe point three, if the judges decide that her second foot was out of bounds as well. She modifies her third pass slightly, playing it a bit safe. But what authority there was in her stuck double pike dismount. And it's not just the tumbling, it's the dance, it's the choreography, it's the way she expresses herself. Milagros Curti Ruiz of Argentina on the vault now. She makes it to her feet on the Yurchenko full. However, her block off the horse was not particularly good. The arms were bent and that reflects in the score. 12.9 for Flavia Saraiva of Brazil, and we will have to wait and see if that is going to hold up for a place on the podium. And now, Kayla DiCello of the USA. Kayla DiCello of the United States of America has not backed down. She has not flinched at all. What a night it has been for the 19-year-old who trains in Maryland. It's hard to believe she is just 19. We've been watching her for so many years now. Brilliant opening pass, double twisting, double tuck. And one thing that she has added to her repertoire at the University of Florida over the past year is a real showmanship quality to her gymnastics. One and a half twist through to front layout with full twist. And this dismount, double pike. Tremendous. Now, in terms of scoring, I can confirm that the score of Flavia Saraiva on the balance beam has been raised to 14.166. Her 12.9 on floor exercise gives her an all-around total of 54.8. Five six five. Kayla DiCello receives 
13.733, and she moves ahead of Flavia Saraiva. 54.699, the score to beat. And here is Jordan Childs on floor exercise, chasing her own teammate for all around gold. Jordan Childs of the United States of America has done everything she possibly could. Flavia Saraiva applauds it. Let's just take a moment and enjoy the choreography and the tumbling that makes Jordan Childs such a joy to watch on floor exercise. She opens with a full twisting double layout and her second pass, one and a half twist to full twisting double tuck. Both very secure landings. She ends a bit short in her turn in Cossack position. That will be a slight deduction. Perhaps some questions as well about the first tumbling pass, whether she kept her feet in bounds. They were certainly on the tape. But overall, what a quality floor exercise. Nicole Iribarne of Argentina on vault. Sukahara with a full twist. Very nice landing for the young Argentinian. 12.666 her score. And here is Luisa Blanco of Colombia. Her last performance, it comes on vault. One and a half twisting Yurchenko. Beautiful stuck landing. The gymnast who dreamed of representing her parents' nation since childhood. The dream has become a reality. Jordan Childs, meanwhile, records 13.533. And that puts her into third place at the moment. On vault, Natalia Escalera of Mexico. A Yurchenko one and a half twist. Beautiful landing and a very healthy score, 13.633. And here is Judge Barbosa of Brazil, vaulting a double twisting Yurchenko to great effect. What a night it has been for her. Could she? We'll see, 13.9 for Barbosa on vault in her return to the Pan American Games. And the final standings, the gold medal to Kayla DiCello of the United States and a positively historic silver medal for Flavia Saraiva, the first Brazilian woman ever
to win silver. No Brazilian has done better in the women's all-around competition. For Jordan Childs, it is a bronze medal in her Pan American Games debut. And for Judge Barbosa, a fourth place finish. A triumphant return in her third Pan American Games. In fifth place, Ava Stewart of Canada. But there is your champion and your bronze medalist. Put on the sunglasses because the stars have come out. Pan American Games gold and bronze for DiCello and Childs. And a fantastic silver medal for Flavia Saraiva. It's more Pan American Games glory for the United States and for Brazil. What a wonderful moment for each of these gymnasts. For Kayla DiCello making the decision to come back to elite level competition. For Jordan Childs, a very successful return to major international competition, following all the success that she had in 2022. And for Flavia Saraiva, it is a season of historic silver medals. And you can't say enough about Jaj Barbosa as well. She has overcome so many injuries through the years. This is a woman who made her Pan American Games debut in 2007. How great it is to see her back and thriving at this competition. And for Flavia Saraiva, when the Brazilian team won the silver medal yesterday, she said that this was a medal for all of Brazil. But this silver medal is for her. In just a little bit, we will be bringing you the medal ceremony. For the moment, however, the gymnasts will march out. We the victory ceremony in women's gymnastics in the all-around competition is underway. There is the champion, Kayla DiCello of the United States of America. The silver medal to Flavia Saraiva of Brazil.
presentation party. Donatella Sacchi, an Olympian from 1976 in women's gymnastics, the president of the Women's Technical Committee. Everywhere she goes, she dazzles with her difficulty, with her expression with the way that she entertains no matter where she is and what she is doing. The bronze medal to Jordan Childs of the United States of America. After two bronze medals in the all-around at the Pan American Games, Flavia Saraeva has a silver to go with them. What a performance she delivered tonight on the balance beam in particular to earn that medal. history for Brazil, written by the silver medalist, Flavia Saraiva. The first Brazilian woman to earn a medal of this color in the women's all around at the Pan American Games. No Brazilian woman has ever done better. And the Pan American Games champion is Kayla DiCello of the United States. A brilliant, consistent performance has earned her this title. Consistency and spectacularity. the gold medal to Kayla DiCello of the United States. In addition to their medals, all of the gymnasts receive a special prize, a version of the mascot of these games, the seven colored rush tyrant bird.
The Star Spangled Banner played in honor of Kayla DiCello, the gold medalist of the 2023 Pan American Games in the women's all around competition. The results, bronze to Jordan Childs of the United States, silver to Flavia Saraiva of Brazil, and gold to Kayla DiCello of the USA. What a fantastic ending to a glorious night and day of competition at the Pan American Games.